In every heterosexual man's life, at some point, he's had to repair a woman's car. Now, you might go, Gundam, how bigoted of you. What about gay men? I don't know. I'm pretty sure gay men gave women the best dance moves at the club, or maybe even makeup and fashion tips. Let's be real. You are a creature. Helping a woman with a car only falls under certain pretenses. A, it's a girlfriend or family member. B, it's a stranger that's a woman. And usually, in this day and age, with the way things are now, if you try to help out a chick with her car problems, they like either A, don't want to hear it, B, accuse you of mansplaining, or C, accuse you of trying to hit on them. That's why most men today do not help women with car issues no more. Because you ain't in the mood for that BS. Any dude who wants to sit around and deal with that head... No, it's extra headache. I have limited my headaches from females to family members and girlfriends. And mostly ex-girlfriends these days. Relationships don't last long. Go figure. Like, I'm at the point now when I see a woman that has car troubles, I don't help with sh I don't care if she's laying under a burning pile of rubble. I am not going to go over there and do something for fear of trying to pull her out, you know? Can't you see my finger, you idiot? I'm <laughs> I'm married, you idiot. Leave me alone. The bitch car is still flipped off. The bitch is still in the car, cuz, like, look at this. She's still in here. Look at her. Man, this all oh, my swing. She's trying to play dead. Bitch, you better wake up. They're doing it. Okay. They're actually closed. They're actually doing it. Oh, the cable. No. Are they going to drive? Oh, no. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, don't drive. Hey. Hey, I, I wouldn't drive. Don't, don't drive like that. Hey. Uh, miss? Miss, you're not going to drive like that, are you? Because every time I've seen something like this, I was usually on my motorcycle or in my car, and I'd look. Hey, what the f*** are you doing? I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this. Listen, come on. Time is money, and the clock is ticking. No, and I just keep going. I'll check the news later, see who did. I'm just that type of guy. I'm gonna be real with you. One time I was driving to pick up something to eat from KFC, and I guess this fat chick got in a fight with her boyfriend. And he looked like Eminem, but real short. And he's walking off, and she's crying on the bridge. And I knew something was wrong, but, you know, I wanted to get chicken and I ain't getting involved because it ain't my business. Anyway, while I was picking up a chicken, she jumped off the bridge. Damn. I'm sorry. Are you for real? They, 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 dude, no way. They're trying to get cold air. They just said that out loud. They're trying to get the AC to work like they're jumping a dead car battery, dude. Oh, I don't understand what's happening. Hey, oh. no. Hey, don't drive like that. I wouldn't. Okay, well. What's, no way. Oh my They're gosh, doing where it. are they going? Where are they? What is happening? They're. The battery, not doing anything no. with the battery, and I'm hooked up <laughs> no. to the battery. No. Hey, I don't. Uh, they could just take the cables off. Both batteries seem to be working. Oh my gosh. You should. The foolishness of females is sometimes genuinely amazing, is it not? I'm just sitting here in dead silence. There's nothing I could add to this. I am fixated. I haven't been this interested in something since watching Chris Chan trying to create himself like a fake vagina or something. <laughs> Which is, I'm not even gonna bother telling you about it. Shouldn't be doing this. We're not hitting on you. We want to help you. Don't help them. She said she keeps saying we have boyfriends. Hey, should I go out and like? No. Yeah, maybe pull up and just okay. tell them and stop hey. driving like this. Hey, what are what are y'all do? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Hey, girls. What are you doing, though? What are you doing? That doesn't work. We're not hitting on you. These two assholes are bigots. They're mansplaining to these strong, independent women. I hope that they get what they deserve and someone cancels them on Twitter for their bigoted nonsense. We're not... Hey, we're... 
Okay. Are you... Should we try? This is why. This is why I don't help women. <laughs> I'm telling you, I see chicks on the side of the road doing something I know is wrong, I leave. It reminds me like when my car died at a gas station. And I had one woman show up and explain to me what was wrong with my car. And I'm like, I don't think that's right. She goes, well, I go to school for car repair. And I'm like, you see, the car isn't getting any power at all. It's not the alternator. I don't have any blown fuses. The battery's just dead. It's done. It's over. That's all. Now, I think it's probably something worse. You're going to have to have someone tow it. I said I ain't having nobody tow shit. Quack. So I had to walk home, get my toolbox, buy a new battery, walk back. Threw the battery in the car, fired right up. I was like, I just had a dead cell. And the sad thing is, she's probably a technician at some car dealership. Quack. You know, somebody else's ride. Maybe, maybe, just, maybe just hop out and just okay, don't here. stop. Hey, just stop for a second. We're not hitting on we're not hitting on you. We want to help. Did the chick just scream you're so creepy? Like, why are these guys trying so hard? But then God bless them, because if they didn't, I wouldn't have this video to watch. Yeah, but you need to stop. No, take the cables off. You have to take them. You could get electrocuted. No, let them get electrocuted. Don't tell them, you fool. Keep the video going. This could have been viral if they got electrocuted. What? They're just leading okay, it down the geez. road. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. That I don't get. Why is she... Okay, 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 I get it. I get it now. You have to think like a chick that doesn't know Quack. cars. They're trying to jump the AC by using the battery. Now, you can jump an AC using a paper clip in the fuses, but you also have to have a coolant refresh system hooked up to your car to get the compressor going, if I recall correctly. But not all cars are the same, and I have never heard of anyone jumping in an AC with a car battery while driving down the road. Never seen it done. <laughs> Call me crazy. The other issue, most likely, is they got a hole in one of the hoses for the AC, or that little tank that holds the coolant got punctured. I know, this happened to my car, and it's a pain in the ass. I really, I really don't understand. What is happening? I really don't like, understand. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Okay. I guess they think it's gonna charge the battery, but it's, it's, that's not charging your battery though. Please stop, that's... You, both cars are working, you don't need to My plug it in. My dad's a mechanic, I know. Your dad's a mechanic? Well, you should call him. <laughs> your dad's a mechanic, call him. <laughs> it's either her dad's a real shit mechanic, or she didn't pay attention to a damn thing he said. This is crazy. Seriously? No, what? we're not. Like, stop recording. We, no, we're, we're not interested. We said that a thousand like, we times. Don't, we're not interested out. in you. No, if you do that, you could hurt okay, yourself. Okay, we don't need your guys' help. We're fine. We've got My it. And please mechanic. stop recording. Your dad's a mechanic. It really seems like him. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Okay. All right. Are you just... Well, hey, just... Good ma luck. Ma'am, just take it off. You, we're both, trying to get the air to work. Both cars are oh working. Both cars are working. You don't no, need them. No, we're trying to get the air conditioning to work. The air conditioning has From nothing to do with your battery. From Yes, oh it does. We know right, what we're doing. Go ahead. Good luck. <laughs> no. I got nothing for that ending. <laughs> I've got absolutely nothing. It reminds me of when I was working on my, my sister's car for my mother. I've told this story before. But it was like one of the most ridiculous moments of repairing a vehicle in my life. So I'll never forget it. My sister's radiator got holes in it. And to take it to the shop. Uh, you paid anywhere between like five hundred to eight hundred dollars for these assholes to put the the radiator in there, and it's like a thirty minute job. Truth be told, on that model of car, like it's not hard. So I go out there. It takes me about an hour to put it in. Everything's together. I start pouring in the coolant. I let the car run for about thirty minutes. It's like okay, it's going. It's working. It's cool. We got no leaks. It's not overheating. Bang bang boom. Job done. I'm walking away, and then my mother goes gotta open the radiator to let some of the heat in the air out and i look at it and i go no you do not have to do that it needs more radiator fluid i said no you do not have to do that the car was just on leave it the hell alone you're gonna you're gonna blind yourself leave it alone you open it now the pressure is gonna spray all over the place don't touch it i turn around i take three steps and i hear it spraying all over the place and her screaming and then she got the top back on it and i looked at her and i said you have no idea how lucky you are. If that got in your eyes, you'd be blind the rest of your life. And I ain't taking care of you. Point being, 
sometimes you just can't tell women something when it comes to cars. Even if it help them. I was showing one girl I was dating how to change a tire. And I'm like, okay, you see how I'm doing it? And then when we put the tire back on, you're going to star pattern. You got that? And we tighten it up. Then we get out the torque wrench and we make sure to torque. She goes, I don't need to know all of this. And I'm like, what happens if your car gets a flat tire somewhere? I'll call AAA. What happens if you get a flat tire somewhere where there's no reception on the phone and you have no choice but to change your tire? I forgot what the hell she said, but she really didn't care. She's like, somebody come over and help me fix it. And I was just like, you know what? I give up. You got an answer for everything, apparently.